Hi, I'm Dr. Peacock. I want to talk to you today about creating ulcerations with mentally invasive surgery and show you a patient we did this on. Here's a patient that presented to us with a two-year history of an ulceration for two years on the plantar aspect of the left hallux. Uh, what we proposed to do for him was a distal plantar fascia release and a mentally invasive osteotomy of the hallux. After one week, we got uh, quite a bit of correction. You can see the incision site with the plantar fascia release, and you can see the alteration already starting to heal. Now, this, this is eight weeks later. Here's our patient, and we can see now at eight weeks, we got complete resolve of the alteration. You can barely even see our uh, incision here. These, this incision is also small, about this big, and you can see now the alteration is completely uh, healed. He can now dorsiflex his toe up to appropriate amounts to prevent the ulcer from reoccurring. He is a diabetic and also is on dialysis, so he has a lot of neuropathy in his foot. The reason we're able to do the plantar fascia release, he has a rigid rear foot, flexible forefoot, but he also has, he doesn't have a hypermobile first race, so we're able to do the plantar fascia release instead of the gastroc recession on him. Here's our patient, this is our patient of ours, and he's a teacher. And uh, how long have you had the ultra Robert, before we saw you? Two years. Two years. So the alteration, he had this alteration for two years, and we were able to treat this alteration and get it completely healed within two months utilizing mentally invasive surgery.